Welcome back to our channel. I'm Carrie with the CPQ experts at Renaissance Tech. Today, we are going to talk about smart parts within Infor CPQ. Utilizing smart SKUs or smart parts within Infor CPQ gives you the ability to create a unique identifier for your manufactured products. So not only are you creating this unique code for the product, also tying it in with your manufacturing materials, processes, and any other detail. This means that no matter the combination of viable selections made by the front end user, you always know that it's going to be tied to the proper manufacturing information as well. This saves a lot of time and a lot of manual effort on your engineering and manufacturing teams. Let's go ahead and check out a demonstration by Ethan showing us what smart parts look like within Infor CPQ and a little bit more on how those can be utilized to support your manufacturing process. Welcome to the Infor CPQ demonstration of smart part or smart code configuration. Here we will demonstrate how a configuration code is dynamically generated by the configuration selection. We are creating a transformer that has many different configuration selections and each selection dynamically creates the configuration code corresponding to the selected inputs. This configuration code might be a part number, a serial number, or really whatever is needed to create a unique identifier. Now, as you can see, I've already configured a three-phase transformer. I can see the image. I can see the details of my selections as well as the price, as well as the summary of my selections. And lastly, I can see a 3D visualization of the product in details and specific uh, exploded view. But for today, let's go ahead and focus on the configuration code in the details page. Each of these inputs denotes a part or a string on the configuration code. So configuration code that starts with TTI 4160 correspond to the standard KVA and primary winding. Now, when I start changing my options, such as standard KVA from 75 to 50, the configuration code will change from TTI to TTH. When I change it to 75 to 50, notice that my configuration code has now changed from TTI to TTH. And once again, if I change it from 50 to 37 and a half, it'll change from TTH to TTV. This occurs again when I select primary winding, the numbers will change from 4160 to 2400. This can be a series of numbers or letters such as a secondary winding Literally, whatever is inputs you want to correspond with the configuration code. Now, lastly, when we change the electrostatic shield from none to single, this corresponding configuration code will change from NA to SN. So when I change from none to single, notice that the NA has now changed to SN. The smart part creation does not require JavaScript or any coding. This function can be referenced from a list, a table, a matrix, or an array within the configuration rules. And this concludes the Infor CPQ demonstration of smart part or smart code configuration.
There's a reason why Infor CPQ is the preferred choice of product configurators for discrete manufacturers. The ability to create that cutting edge front end user experience and combining it with the power of manufacturing precision on the back end is exactly what makes the software successful. If you'd like to hear more about Infor CPQ or if you need help in your current project, we're more than happy to help. Please contact us at contact at renaissancetech.com.